Hello Minecrafters and welcome back to Let's Survive Minecraft. This is our third episode and today we are looking at filling up this chest a little bit more. Definitely we need more iron, um, emeralds, maybe you're not going to find emeralds, definitely more copper. But the one thing we want to look for today are diamonds. Everybody wants diamonds. So this is our mission for today. I also would like to hopefully stumble across a geode. This would be great. Something new that was added for the new 1.17 update. Now, I'm pretty sure you know how to find diamonds, but I'm just quickly going to talk about it. Diamonds can be found between level 0 and 15. So we got to dig down to know on which level you are. You got to press the F3 button. And on the left hand side here, you will see the X, Y and Z coordinates. Y is the level you are on. And as you can see, we are on level 63. The best way I think to find diamond is by mining on level 11. Why level 11? Because you can find lava lakes between the level 5 and 10. So if we are mining on level 11, we should be quite safe. All right, let's stop talking and let's go mining. Heading into the caves, we need to ensure we are ready. I want to ensure we have enough torches, plenty of food. So I'm cooking some more steaks. And the one thing we need as well is we need a shield. And let's build our first shield. Here we go. And like I mentioned earlier, we can hold this in our offhand. It is very useful, especially for skeletons when they are shooting arrows at you. All right, we are ready. We have our shield, our armor. We have our pickaxe that we are going to be using quite a bit. And the shovel we need as well. Plenty of torches, plenty of food. I'm going to bring some blanks with me and some sticks to do some chests maybe and crafting tables. I am short on iron. I am starting with a stone pickaxe. And as we are finding more iron, we will build better tools. For harvesting diamonds, we do need an iron pickaxe or a diamond pickaxe. Um, if we harvest diamond ores with a stone pickaxe, we will not get anything out of it and we're going to lose the diamond ore. I did some mining earlier, more for iron and for coal. Let's go and look for some more important things like diamonds, redstone, uh, maybe some copper or that. We are heading to Y11. Um, the one thing you maybe also have noticed on the bottom here, you see those um, health bars. These are actually durability bars, which will show you how long you have until your tool or weapon will break. To get more information on this, just press F3 and H. And if I open my inventory, I can see the exact durability. So for this shovel, I can break 20, 222 more blocks until it breaks. Once we get diamond or netherite tools and weapons, they will have a higher durability. And in the future, we are also going to work on enchantment where we can add even further durability. Once we get mending, we actually can repair our tools, but we will look into this a little bit further into our Let's Survive Minecraft. The other thing I'm doing when I'm digging down is I'm digging five high. Um, the reason for that is at some point we're going to add stairs so we don't have to jump every time. We are able to run up and down much faster. The other thing I do when I go caving or mining, I always place my torches on the right. This way I know which way I'm going. Once I may be lost, I will know that um, on our way back, our torches need to be on the left of you. As you can see right here. If I go this way, I have torches on the right. I know I am not heading home. Okay, we've only been mining for a little bit. We made it down to level. Let's check. 39, so still far ways to go. But we found iron, we found some copper, and we found some coal. Now it's time for us to smelt the iron because our pickaxe, our stone pickaxe died, and I need a new pickaxe. So we made it down to Y11. 
As we can see, pressing the F3 button, we are on level 11. This is the best way for us to find diamond. Let's set up a little bit of a workstation down here. All right, here we are. We have set up our workstation. We have our workbench, we have our furnaces, and we have a chest. Um, the one thing we want to do now before we are heading to strip mine, we are building a quick staircase up. And here we go, a beautiful staircase for us to run up and down into our mine. All right, we are looking pretty good. We set up our main tunnel. Um, as we go, we'll continue with our main tunnel. As you can see, we have already found lots of um, exciting resources. We found some tough, which is a new addition to the 1.17. We found some deep slate, which is a new addition. And we found redstone, uh, copper and iron. All right, let's start strip mining. We have created our main tunnel. This is just the beginning, but now we are going to do some single one by two tunnels to be more efficient. Um, the one thing we know is diamonds will spawn um, two by two. So we, for me, the most efficient way I would say is to do my next tunnel here. Um, <laughs> so we have three we have three blocks in between this way i feel like i feel like it's the most efficient there's many other ways to do it some people will just have two between and some people will have four in between um this is the way i like to do it and like you wondering we found some lapis lafi here this is for enchanting we'll get to that a little bit later so let's get going and let's hope we find some diamonds. That was fast. So <laughs> here we go. Diamonds. Usually diamonds are very rare and this is our first diamond. So this was very fast. Usually I would maybe be mining for an hour or so to find our first diamond and here we are, a couple of minutes in, and we have our first diamonds. And it's good. So this is our first one. Let's break it. Here we are. This is our first diamond. Let's keep it safe. And let's get the rest as well. Here we are, we got six pieces. All right, now I think it's time to build our first diamond pickaxe. We're gonna keep an eye on the durability. We're gonna make sure we don't break our diamond pickaxe. Now it looks like we found a good size cave here while we were strip mining. Now, caves can be an other technique for finding diamonds as long as the cave is below y15s we could find exposed diamonds um like i mentioned it is dark in caves and we will have mobs spawning so it is quite dangerous and we need to be ready we need to make sure we have some armor which we have and we need to make sure we have our shield with us so let's Put our shield in our offhand and let's go and light up the cave to ensure we have less possibility oh less possibilities for mobs to spawn like this guy here all right so we took some damage but i was worried that he's gonna blow up the diamonds so this is so far a very, very lucky mining trip, besides the creeper. 
And before we are looking at those diamonds, we need to ensure we light up the cave so there's no more mobs spawning around us. So let's have a look at those. Looks like it's just three diamonds, which is still pretty good, but we're going to leave them here for now and we'll come back later. If you come across lava lakes like this one, you don't really have to branch across them like I did. There's an easy trick to get rid of the lava. Now, be careful. Um, the lava is a light source and you will turn the light source off by turning the lava into obsidian. And this way we can easily mine all the ores that were before on top of the lava without losing them or being afraid of getting burned. Let's talk about obsidian. Obsidian is the hardest block that you can break in Minecraft. You can make obsidian like you just saw by pouring water over a lava lake. Now obsidian can only be broken with a diamond pickaxe. And it takes quite a bit of time to break it. And now we have to be very careful because underneath this obsidian there is more lava. And there is a trick to it. All you have to do is break your first block. And like you see, it takes quite a bit of time to break it. Here we go. Now there's no lava under here, but there is a lava lake and the chance that there is lava here is quite high. And again, we do not want to burn up in lava. So to be safe, let's place a water bucket right here and we're going to keep mining. The main thing we use obsidian for is to build nether gates. We use nether gates to go into the nether, which is a different dimension and we'll get there eventually. And we are going to collect a minimum of 10 obsidians right now because that's the minimum we need to have a nether gate. Another way to be caving or mining is finding a ravine. And I did notice that when building my base, that there is a ravine just right here. Now, ravines are dangerous places because they're quite dark. Many mobs, as you can see already, are spawning in here and the mobs will just jump on top of you and surprise you. Check this out. And this little gentleman here is called an Enderman. And they are actually quite fine with you, as long as you don't look into their eyes. Maybe as you already have noticed, I have lost my XP. I died over there. I came down the waterfall here and a creeper was waiting for me. And I had no time to take my shield out. But this ravine, so far, pretty good. I found a good amount of resources and looks like it's branching off into some different and deeper caves. So let's go check them out. You can use waterfalls like these to slide down into caves. Oh, what is this? I think this is a geode. Let's check it out. Yes. Beautiful, so exciting. This is right underneath my base let's just be very careful there could be monsters waiting for us inside so nice These geodes as well are brand new to the 1.17 update and can be used for many, many new items to be crafted like the spyglass. New achievement, new recipes. So we have spent quite a bit of time underground caving and mining and I think so far it has been very successful. 
But the one thing that happens if you are spending a lot of time underground, we will get phantom spawning. The reason for phantoms to spawn is because you don't sleep at night. Now phantoms drop phantom membrane and we can use that later to do a potion of feather falling. And as you can see, I brought all our resources up to our base. And there's one thing I would like to do, and that's a spyglass. Let's go and check it out. It is morning and here we go, our spyglass. And yeah, our little farm. I think it's time to take care of our farm before we end this episode. Here we go, my friends. Lots of food and lots of baby cows and lots of baby sheep. Well, Minecrafters, I hope you had a good time. Looks like I had a good time fighting a skeleton. And if you did so, please leave a like below. In today's episode, we found our first diamond. We found a geode and many more cool things, including this spyglass right here but my pickaxe needs repairing and we need to put some enchantment on them so in our next episode we definitely working on an enchantment table we're gonna learn how to use it we will look at maps and how to explore our world as well i am almost out of food and i need to look at a better source of food so we will definitely work on building a better farm so don't forget to subscribe to my channel today and i guess we are done my name is monday and this is let's survive minecraft and we'll see you next time